begin okay okay today we'll discuss uh, 20 mcqs on the economy so which are essential for uh, upcoming apsc preliminary exam 2022 okay so first uh, consider flowing in the context of government borrowing so first uh, number one option reduce private investment second increase interest rate third reduce inflation rate so there are actually two types of borrowing one is uh, external borrowing and the other one is internal borrowing and when the government uh, we'll discuss it from the indian point of view so when indian government borrows from the rbi or or from any other uh, financial institution within the territory of India, then it is called uh, internal borrowing. And when government, uh, government of India borrows money from IMF, World Bank, or any other international financial institution, that is called external borrowing. The question is, so what, is what will be the impact of government borrowing? So when government heavily depends on borrowing, okay, without its, uh, its own uh, revenue resources, then definitely it will reduce private investment. Okay, because private investment will, uh, private company will invest only when there is a scope for profit maximization. Okay, when government itself heavily depends on growing, definitely it will reduce private investment. So option one is correct. Next option two, it increase interest rate. Definitely it will increase uh, interest rate because uh, government borrows um, uh, money from the system available. There, there will be less money available. Okay, when there is a high demand it, and uh, or with less availability, definitely it will lead to the increase of interest rate. Okay, so option one and two is correct. Reduce inflation. No, it will not reduce inflation, it will increase inflation. Okay, so uh, option uh, B, B is the correct, correct answer. Okay, so one option is B. Next, next we'll discuss number two. Consider flowing in the, uh, in the context of monetary policy monetary policy okay so monetary policy committee okay so monetary policy is actually started in 2016 okay from 2016 monetary policy committee is okay so as a result of which the autonomy of rbi has reduced okay so first option mpc is a sixth member committee considered by the central government okay it is correct and here key member from the government side Team members from the government, as well as the team members uh, from the RBI. Okay, so as a result of which autonomy of RBI has reduced. Okay, uh, this is the reason for which two governor okay of RBI has had resigned. Okay, and MPC is led by governor of RBI. Yes, both are correct. So here option uh, C is the correct answer. Okay. So next. Uh, Next, we'll just, uh, go to the second slide. Okay. So, number third. So, what is the uh, reverse repo rate? What is uh, reverse repo rate is a tool used by RBA to inject liquidity b absorb liquidity c to keep the liquidity in one level d increase the liquidity with banking system so this reverse separate as well as the uh, report these are some tools used by rbi to control uh, to control inflation okay these are the part of monetary, monetary policy okay so reverse separate means what it is a rate at which rbi borrow money from the uh, other commercial bank. As a result, money will flow from the, from the system to RBI. Okay, so that is called reverse separate. So definitely, it will absorb liquidity. So money will flow from the system to the RBI. Okay, so option C will be option option B. Okay. Next, what is uh, repo rate? So repo rate. We know that it is a rate at which RBI, RBI lends money, the commercial bank, as a result of which money will flow from RBI. Okay. This is a opposite to reverse separate. Okay. As a result of which money will flow from RBI to the system. Okay. This is called uh, 
Clear for it. And there is a manual program the RBI to system means system into the other commercial bank, okay, or other financial institution. So, which is correct here? Number A, it is the rate at which RBI sells government securities to bank. No, it is the rate at which RBI buys government securities from the bank. Number C, it is the rate at which RBI allows small rooms in the market. And number D, it is the rate at which RBI borrows money from the commercial bank. So option will be five, option will be D. So it is a rate at which RBI uh, buys government securities from the banks. Then when RBI buys government securities, RBI has to give money to the bank. As a result, money will flow from RBI to, other, uh, to the system, OK? So actually, there are two types of securities. One is uh, mainly, one is a treasury bill, and other one is your bond, OK? So one is a bond. So basic difference between the treasury bill and bond is that so the in case of treasury bill the minimum uh, maturity period is 91 days okay minimum and maximum maturity period is 364 days means these are short term here in case of treasury bill maturity period is very short but in case of bond minimum is one years and maximum is 10 years okay so this is the basic difference between treasury bills and bond So next, number five, consider flowing statements. Monetary policy announced per year, price stability and exchange rate stabilizations are the objectives of monetary policy. Credit policy is a part of monetary policy. So uh, I have already discussed the monetary policy is a tools used by RBI. Uh, to control inflation okay inflation means the uh, what is inflation is the rate uh, when there is a uh, rising price of the essential commodity it is called inflation okay so these policies are used by rbi to control price stability okay or the essence stability so uh, option two is correct and credit policy is a part of one so this is, a, this is also part of one policy. both option two and three are correct but monetary policy announced per year so this Monetary policy is not announced per year. Okay, it is in the general case. It is it is uh, announced quarterly. Okay, but we have seen in case of uh, COVID nineteen pandemic, so the, uh, it is announced by the RBI per month. Okay, you have to control or you have to control inflation. Okay, in the general cases it is announced quarterly, but in in, in special cases uh, RBI may declare it per per month also. So option one is not correct. So answer will be uh, C, that is two and three is correct. Okay. Next, number six, consider the flowing bank rate policy, open market operations, and devaluation of rupee. Which of the above are called fiscal measures. So there are two types of I mean, one is a fiscal policy and another one is a monetary policy. Okay. So monetary policy, as I have already discussed, there is this uh, announced by the RBI, whereas Fiscal policy is announced by the uh, government, okay, and it is expressed through budget. So, bank rate policy, open market operation, these both are the part of monetary policy. So, one and two is not correct. So, devaluation of rupee, yes, devaluation of rupee is done by government. So, devaluation of rupee means this purposefully government lower the uh, value of rupee as compared to dollar. It, it, it is done for short term, okay. In order to promote, uh, in order to promote uh, export, okay, but it is not done for uh, long term because it will lead to trade deficit because India heavily depend on import, okay. So there is a basic difference between devaluation of rupee as well as the depreciation of rupee. So devaluation of rupee is done by government, okay, but depreciation of rupee is not done, done by government. Okay, it is it is it is controlled by international international trade. As we have seen, when there is a price rising price of crude oil, okay, in the international market, then it, it automatically lead to the uh, uh, it automatically lead to uh, reduce the value of rupee, okay. That is called depreciation, okay. But devaluation of rupee is done by government for short term in order to promote export, okay. So next number seven. Why is the government of India disinvesting its equity in the Public sector units. Okay, 
So what is this this uh, investment? This is the process by which government sells its share in the public sector units. Okay. So the the main purpose of this the uh, the main purpose of government is to increase the efficiency, to increase the efficiency in the PSUs. Okay. And uh, the okay, let us see the options. Number one, the government intends to use the revenue earned from the this investment mainly. Uh, to pay back the external debt, external debt. Okay, so this is not correct. Next, the government no longer intends to retain the management control of the PSUs. No, government. If we see that government only sell only what ten percent, fifteen percent maximum, twenty percent or twenty five percent. So means government retains the management control. If government wants to uh, give up the management control, then government has to sell more than fifty percent. Okay. So option two is not also not correct. Okay, so both one and two is not correct. So answer will be D. Here in case of second option will be none is correct. Okay. Next number eight, with reference to Indian economy, consider following statement: GDP has increased by four times in the last ten years. The percentage share of public sector in GDP has declined in the last ten years. So if you see the what is the present GDP of India, at least it is within seven. Okay. Suppose uh, ten years ago, Indian GDP was four, five or six. So if it is increased by four times, it should be more than twenty. So it is not correct. So option one is not correct. Okay, two is the percentage share of public sector in GDP has declined in the last ten years. It is correct. This is the reason why government uh, uh, has done the this investment process. Okay, since the percentage share of GDP, uh, public sector has reduced. Okay, in uh, okay so. Uh, government has done this investment process. Okay, so option two is correct. So answer will be B. It is answer B. Okay. The next number nine. Consider flowing things like market borrowing, treasury bills, special securities issued to RBI. Which of these are the components of internal debt? I have already mentioned what is external borrowing, internal borrowing. When government borrows from uh, RBI or within the uh, Or any financial institution within the territory of India that is called internal borrowing. Okay, or when government borrows from IMF, World Bank, or any other external uh, financial institution that is called uh, internal external borrowing. Okay, in this case, the question is what are the components of internal borrowing? Okay, means uh, next market borrowing is yes, market borrowing, treasury bills, special securities issued to RBI. Yes, government issues special securities. Okay. Uh, to get money from RBI, so all three are the components of internal debt. Okay, for internal internal debt. Okay, so answer will be D. Next, budget deficit. It is simple. What is budget deficit? It is nothing but the total uh, the difference between the total receipt and total expenditure. Okay, when the uh, expenditure is more as compared to receipt, that is called budget deficit. So we we'll discuss details about. Uh, when we will discuss about public finance sector, okay. Uh, actually, receipts. There are two types of receipts. One is typical receipt, revenue receipt, and expenditures uh, like capital expenditure, revenue expenditure, okay. And plan expenditure, non-plan expenditure. So plan expenditure means this will lead to the creation of assets for the government, okay. Whereas another type of expenditure is non-plan expenditure. So non-plan expenditure means this will not. These are consumptive in nature. This will, this will not lead to the creation of assets for the government. For example. Uh, salary, payment of salary, okay, pensions, subsidies, uh, these all are come under non-plan expenditure. Okay, so here option will be uh, C. Next, eleven defi deficit finance implies. What is deficit finance? It is again simple. When public expenditure is excess of public revenue, expenditure is more than the revenue. That is called deficit finance. You know? Okay, simple. Next, twelve. Which of the following can aid in the furthering the government's objectives of inclusive growth? So, inclusive growth means, uh, on, uh, con uh, or considering all the stakeholders, okay, uh, in the including all the uh, stakeholders in the development process, okay, without neglecting anyone, okay. So, number one, promoting self-help group groups, promoting micro, small, and medium enterprises, implementing the right to. Uh, education act. Yes, all are the 
measures to promote inclusive growth because promoting segmented you know, growth which lead to it will lead to empowerment of women okay and similarly promoting the micro small enterprises uh, it will also increase employment okay so all these are the uh, component of inclusive growth okay and so will be b next number 13 With efforts to Indian budget, which of the following is at the forefront under non-plan expenditure? I have already mentioned plan and non-plan expenditure. Non-plan expenditure means this will not create lead to the creation of new assets. These are consumptive in nature, okay? Like defence expenditure, interest payment, salaries and pension subsidies. These all are non-plan expenditure. So answer will be C. Next fourteen. The price of any currency in international market is decided. By World Bank, demand for goods and services provided by a country concerned, stability of the government of the concerned country, economic potential of the country in questions. So, so how the price, okay, the value value of a uh, of a particular country, the value of currency of a particular country is determined in the international market. So, World Bank is not associated with this, okay. So, option one is not correct. So we can eliminate option A as well as option B. So we can use the elimination method. Okay. So remaining is B and C. Next, demand for goods and services provided by the country concerned. Yes. When there is more demand for for the goods and services provided by a particular country, definitely it will lead to the increase in currency of the particular country. So option two is correct. So in B, option two is present. Whereas in C, option two is not present. So we can also eliminate option C. So in this way, using the elimination method, we can easily detect the correct answer. So answer will be B. Okay, without without knowing other two options, so we can easily find the correct answer using the elimination method. Okay, let us see what, what are the other options are there. So stability of government of the concerned country. Yes, there should have uh, political stability. Okay, without political stability, uh, there will be no rapid development. Okay. So option three is also correct. So answer will be two and T. Okay. So option is B. Next, fifteen. Supply of money remaining the same when there is an increase in demand for money, there will be what? So means supply is same but demand increases. When supply is constant but demand increases, definitely it will lead to increase in interest rate. Okay. So answer will be. B and increase in the interest rate. Okay, rate of interest. Okay. Next, India has experienced persistent or high uh, and the high foot inflation in the recent past. What could be the reason? Due to a gradual switch over to the cultivation of commercial crops, the area under the cultivation of food grains has decreased in the last five years by about thirty percent. As a consequence of increasing incomes, the consumption patterns of the people have undergone significant change. The food supply chain has structurally constrained. Yes, uh, first option is not correct because if there thirty uh, percent of the food grains, okay, they are uh, they are uh, uh, reduced to commercial crop, then there will be serious issue of food security. So this is a very extreme statement. Okay, okay, so option one is not correct. Okay, so option one is not correct, so we can eliminate the uh, oh, A, C, and B. So answer will be B. Okay, let us see other other option as well. So as a consequence of increase, yes, due to increasing purchasing power of the people. Okay, there is a high demand for uh, people used to go to restaurants. Okay, so there is a there is a high demand of uh, food grains. Okay, so option two is also correct. Also to uh, correct. Okay, and next the food supply chain has structurally constrained. Yes. In India, there is a structural constraint in food supply. The result, what they used to, uh, they used to deviate the uh, and uh, food food supply in order to uh, create artificial scarcity. You need to raise the food, okay, uh, price of the food being okay. So both two and three is correct, okay. So answer will be B. In this case, option will be B. Sixteen, okay. Next, seventeen. Consider flowing in the context of food security. So what is the objectives of food security? National food security. There are mainly four pillars: availability, accessibility, affordability, and uh, stability. Okay. 
Next, the market intervention, interventions, private uh, price stabilizations, disaster management, replenishment of PDS system. Buffer stock is maintained to address the use of the load. So, what is the purpose of maintaining buffer stock? So, buffer stock is maintained by government through FCI, okay, Food Corporation of India. So, what is the purpose? Actually, when there is a scarce, uh, when there is a uh, scarcity, uh, artificial scarcity in the, uh, in the product, the government used to release food beans, okay, from the, uh, from the, from the FCI or from the buffer store. Okay, you need to control the price. Okay, that is called marketing intervention. Okay, so both option one and two is correct. Again, during disaster, government also released food gain from the buffer store. Okay, to fulfill the uh, food security of the, food security of the people. Okay, T is also correct, and PDS is also maintained through uh, uh, through buffer store. Okay, PDS means what? Public distribution system. There, food gains are distributed uh, among the people who have ration cards. Okay. And these are uh, government distribute the foods uh, from the buffer store to the PDS, okay, to the different states, okay. And uh, uh, F, uh, government uh, procure the food gains. So again, procure food gains from the farmers to a minimum support price to fill up the buffer store, okay. So FCI plays a very significant role in this case, okay. So here, all options are correct. 17 is D. And 18, consider flowing in the context of National Food Security Act. To become a beneficiary under National Food Security Act, the household shall be from the any not notified rural part of India. National Food Security Missions mandate the oldest adult woman to be mm -hmm. the head of house, uh, household uh, for issuance of uh, ration cards. Okay. So here, in order to be a beneficiary under National Food Security Act, a person not only from rural part but also from urban area also. Okay, so option one is not correct, and uh, but option two is correct. This the National Food Security Act mission mandate the oldest adult adult woman to be the head of the household for issuance of the ration card. Okay, so two is correct. So answer will be B. It will be answer B. Next nineteen. Which of the following are the reasons to deregulate marketing of fruits and uh, vegetables outside the ABMC yard? To give the higher price to the farmers, to reduce the price for con consumers, and reduce middlemen. Actually, ABMC Act has a, uh, uh, has a middle uh, middleman okay, between the uh, buyers and sellers. Okay, buyers and sellers communicate through ABMC. Okay, as a result, what APMC has also uh, uh, APMC also try to uh, they try to profit something from the farmers. As a result, what price farmers uh, price of the community increase. Okay, so number of number one option is what to give higher price to the farmers to reduce the price for the consumers and to reduce middlemen. Yes, all three are correct. Okay, this is the reason why fruits and vegetables are kept out of the uh, APMC yards. Okay, only food gains are kept under APMC. Okay, these fruits and vegetables farmers can directly sell. Okay, uh, in the market, the purpose is to give higher price to the farmers. Second, to reduce the price for consumers and to reduce middlemen. All three are correct. So, option B. And last question that is 20. Which of the following statements regarding the newly launched the integrated management of public distribution system are true? Okay, number one. The main objectives of this scheme is to introduce national uh, nationwide portability of ration card holders under national Act 2013 to leave their uh, entitlement food gains uh, from any fair price shops in the country without the need to obtain a new ration card. Number two, keeping in view the physical uh, progress under ongoing scheme and readiness for implementation of national portability of new uh, states, it has been decided to implement the means this, this scheme is implemented at a pilot basis, not in all the states. Okay, this is correct. And presently, the national food security provides the coverage for 
uh, about 81.34 crore persons across the country in Maharashtra have the highest coverage. Means what is an uh, integrated management of public distribution system? Means suppose a uh, person from uh, Assam working in Gujarat or Andhra Pradesh, okay, uh, he will he will he will be able to use his ration card which is issued by Assam government to withdraw his uh, benefit from from the uh, higher uh, fair price shops in Gujarat as well as in uh, Andhra Pradesh, okay, means. Uh, instantly only uh, suppose a person from Assam he can use his ration card only in Assam okay not now the, uh, a person from Assam uh, uh, can use his ration card in any part of the country okay so it is also known as one nation one ration card okay scheme okay so yet uh, option one is correct Okay, option two is also correct. It is implemented in pilot basis. It is not implemented in, uh, in all the states. The so one and two is correct. In the in the three, option T, national food security provides a coverage of around 81.34 crore person. It is also correct. But the country which uh, but the Maharashtra has the highest uh, coverage. Okay, this is not correct. Maharashtra, the Maharashtra has not the highest coverage. Uh, in the uh, under national food security okay so this is all about the uh, today's class but uh, can anyone tell me which state of india has the highest coverage under national food security Act? okay so if, if you want you can answer in the comment section okay so this is all about the uh, today's uh, economy class and thank you if you have any doubts you can uh, Ask in the comment section, okay? Thank you.